Okay, just a quick update, fellas. As you can see, I've made some changes. The first thing I did is I pulled the plastic off and um, I mulched with uh, wheat straw. The plastic uh, just wasn't working for me. One of the problems was I decided I wanted to put a soaker hose system in that goes all the way down the beds and then comes back up. And trying to feed that under plastic that was already in place was pretty much impossible and the plastic was moving around and it just wasn't going to work. So I decided to just take the plastic completely off, put my soaker hose in, and that seems to have worked. Uh, we'll see how the how the wheat straw mulch works. But so far I'm happy with it. Um, as far as the plants go, they're looking pretty good. You can see I've got my tomatoes in on the back row. Uh, the kale is looking really good. And if you'll remember from the previous video, this suffered a lot of frost damage and I wasn't sure that it was going to make it. But I'm really impressed. This kale is very hardy stuff. This is Russian red kale that uh, Michael Luck gave me the seeds for, and I appreciate that, Michael. You can see this stuff is really doing great. Then along the front row here, this is uh, romaine in this box, and it seems to be doing well. I've got some spinach um, down here in the second box, and uh, it's doing okay, but it's not really uh, taking off like I'd hoped. But we'll see. And then the shard is in the third box and that's looking pretty good right there I've got some more kale so basically in these boxes I've got three rows my tomatoes are going to be along the back row and that's what I'm going to uh, trellis with some uh, clips and sort of grow it up a rope if you will then the middle row is my kale and then the front row is either romaine spinach or shard but if this keeps up, uh, I may end up with a garden and I may actually get something to eat out of here. This is one of my boxes from last year. And what I've got on the front row here is onions. These are uh, 10 15s. In the back here, I've got some garlic that's uh, starting to come up. But the onions are looking good. The rest of the box is filled with uh, Malabar spinach. And uh, that worked real well for me last year. I am looking forward to this and hopefully these cattle panel trellises will hold up good. In the second box I've got uh, cucumbers planted along the back. They haven't come up yet. Uh, those are Ashley's and because um, last year I had some uh, mildew problems with my cucumbers. Uh, the middle row I've got tomatoes and then the front row I've got some beans that I just put in the other day and uh, they haven't sprouted yet. The third box, I've got some tomatoes along the back. I've got some more uh, Malabar spinach and some kale in the middle and beans across the front. So those are my three boxes from last year. So I've got a total of six boxes going. And the last uh, project uh, is going to be my straw bells and my three sisters' garden. And my straw bells are up here in the corner right up there. And then the Three Sisters is going behind the fence, and uh, I'm going to get that in today. What I've got here is I've got five straw bales, and I've got to condition them. There's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to condition bales. Basically, you get them soaked, keep them soaked, and uh, put some high nitrogen fertilizer on top for a few days. And then you plant directly in them. So it'll be interesting to see how the same plants started from the same seeds fair when I plant some in straw bales and some in a traditional raised bed with soil. Now last fall I have an area back here that is close to some woods and what I did is I lined this area back here with, with uh, cardboard, really thick cardboard and then I put uh, wheat straw on top of that and I just let it sit all winter and as you can see it's worked pretty good keeping the weeds down but what I want you to notice is how incredibly rich this soil is underneath there now you can uh, stick your hand down in there and it is full of worms it's nice soft soil and it looks really rich now I want you to notice just three feet away where there was no cardboard you can see how hard that soil is that's hard clay soil 
So putting that cardboard down and letting that hay sit on top of it or rather the wheat straw made a tremendous difference. And this is the pattern that I'm using on my three sisters garden. Basically I've got six corn plants and uh, that's in a an area that's about two feet in diameter. So uh, there's one seed in each hole and what I've done is uh, I basically poked a hole with my trapper's punch, wiggled it around a little bit, dropped a handful of compost and uh, fertilizer mix in each hole, then put the seed in and covered it up. And when the corn gets up about a foot, what I'll do is I'll put a bean plant on each side on all four corners and let that run up the uh, corn stalks. And then I will uh, put a perimeter of squash out and around everything that I'm doing here. So I'm going to continue this on down, all the way down to the end down there, and uh, hopefully I'll have some good results. I can tell you one thing, the uh, cardboard does a great job. If, uh, if you're thinking about using cardboard to uh, keep the weeds down for you, let me just show you something here. You can tell exactly where the cardboard stopped. You can see that right angle right there where that cord board came right out, right along there. Everything that's inside the cardboard, covered with the straw, nothing. Everything outside of it, covered in weeds, like you wouldn't believe. And if you, uh, if you go down three or four inches, this place is crawling with worms. Everything under the cardboard is absolutely crawling with worms. It's amazing. I am, uh, I'm sold on this idea. I really am. Let me get the rest of this in, hopefully before the rain starts.